Yeah. It's the same one you have? No, no that's, that's a, a different, different one. one. That might be. Nice was one. that over there? Sweet. It's probably like 370. Oh, yeah, for sure. But yeah, and then they all bounced off. Of yeah. That's how it goes. All right, we're getting ready to hit the, uh, hit the mountain. We got Chad. Yep. We got a new guy on the, on the YouTube. Alexander? Yep, or you go by Xander? Alexander. Alexander. And we all know Mr. Scott. Yep. All in Sitka, ready to kill. <laughs> it's starting to get a little windy. Um, we got some elevation to get past. But we're going to go and hunt. Push them off, but it looks like it's just her right now. So. Okay, we'll keep an eye on it. But I think you guys should be good. Yeah. Cool. Good luck, man. Thank you. You need to go back up there and glass. Yeah. For them. They might be over on this hill today. I'm yeah. hoping they are. It's better to talk over there. Yeah. They don't talk in those trees. Yeah. But. Well, good luck. Successful, both of us. Yeah, absolutely. Tomorrow evening. <laughs> yeah, both. That'd be nice. <laughs> that'd be sweet. Y'all text me. It's like, hey, I need help. It's like, I'm packing too, man. <laughs> that'd be a good problem to have. Yeah, it would. Yeah. If I kill one tomorrow, then I can go up and help my dad on his antelope hunt. Uh, that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Awesome. All right, get to it. All right, man. Good luck. They're looking his way though. Chad, make it happen. He's got deer right over here. He's got a ton of cows, which may be good or may not be good. And he's got a lot of distance to close, but the bucks are in that group. Those are, I can't tell. They just started moving to the left. They never got spooked. Yeah, the, yeah, the box just fed. I can't see it anyways. I was, I was watching through my rangefinder. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I, like, I tried moving this to get it to like focus. Yeah. It would focus super close, but I couldn't get it to move. Yeah. I kept like looking. And I kind of make out the deer. I could not see him at all though. Oh. And then I finally got it. I like kept I pushed really hard. And, like 
It was just stuck. Huh. It's not focused and I could see it, but nice. for most of the time I was just sitting there on the phone. Yeah. Well, that was close. You were, how close did you get? 45 yards. Oh my gosh. Uh, I had right at um, last visibility, which, you know, they moved the time back this year, so it's still legal to shoot. They moved it back from what? 30 minutes after? Yeah, 30 minutes after oh, sunset. Yeah, that's what we do in um, Nebraska. So, I mean, I could have shot, and I had that, that big four point yeah. broadside at 45 yards, and it was just like, it was just right on that edge of like, mm, like, he looked completely perfectly broadside, but he could have barely been quartering. Yeah. And I wouldn't have been able to tell, and it was windy on the knob. Yeah. I was like, you know. Good call. I might just injure him right now, and then I, I let them all run off, but I probably could have killed him right then. Sure. And You made, like, fast move. That was crazy how fast you got yeah. up there. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I even stopped to go pee and take my shoes off and in my socks and all that. Yeah. But... I'm I'm pretty decent at running mountains. Yeah, you've been but, doing it for the last couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. Most people would have took the shot. I probably should have, but I was like, you know, I don't think so. I, I'd rather get it real clean than to regret injuring them. You know? Yeah. So for sure. But good call. Yeah, I, mean, I appreciate you guys. You didn't for sure have to stop and let me do all that. That's all right. Well, I was filming you as you went up. Oh, really? And then Scott brought your pack up. It's down here. Probably oh, thank you. I yards. Around. Yeah, uh, I was wondering if you'd film. That would have been cool if I shot Oh, some. yeah, we were ready for it. Did you uh, see me up there at all when yeah. I got next to him? I, uh, it was, my time was getting really dark, and yeah. they were moving more further left. I, it was too hard to tell on the camera. That one part with the, the cows, there was no, no place for me to go but right through them, and I was like, you yeah. know, those deer... The, the cows up here aren't like cows down there. I mean, they they run from you. And yeah. Like, they they'll run clear off the mountain, but I've I've like found ways to walk up on them and do like non-menacing like head motions and stuff to make them like yeah. run off and look at you. Nice. And I was like, you know, if if they do that, or you know, sometimes like the older ones will just walk off. It's usually the calves that run. Yeah. yeah. I was like, the deer might just look at the cows and be like, ah, stupid cows, and go back to feeding. Yeah. And that's yep. what they did. And I was like, sweet, and you know. The cows kind of are nice because, you know, if I step on a stick or slip a rock, it's just a cow. Yeah. That's all they yeah. think, you know. So that's right. If I was, if I was up there, <laughs> if I was up there ten minutes earlier, I'd have killed that deer. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was just. It was. I think it was 754. Yeah. So it was, it was right there. Yeah. And if he was at, if he was at 28 yards, I would have shot him for sure. Even probably 35, but that that extra 10 was just a little. Yeah, it makes it a little hard to see. Cause like 35 yards, even with the quivalizer in the wind, kind of dark, I can make that shot all day. Yeah, sure. And I probably could have on that too, but. Better say that's all right. You know, we gotta we gotta set a good example, and yeah, you can't uh, sling an arrow at every animal you see. Or no. <laughs> all, all you're gonna do is give hunters a bad name. You know. For sure. And there's enough people doing that for us already. Yeah, yeah. We don't need extras. <laughs> yeah. Well, cool, man. you guys got a long hike ahead of you. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna make it over the top and find a good camping spot. Um, I expect to see a dead bull in the morning. Yes. Yeah. I'll be best. disappointed if you don't. <laughs> Same goes for you, but with yeah. a deer. <laughs> yeah. They, uh, as far as I know, a lot of those um, bigger bulls up there have been watering at nighttime. Yeah. Um, but if you get in that spring when it's still dark that's the plan you have a you have a good shot in the morning i think uh i think a bull come in and if you're looking for yeah, you said 340 340 plus yeah yeah 342 to be exact 342 <laughs> uh, I'm 342 pretty, and three quarters I'm yeah pretty sure you could uh a couple days sitting there something will come Some in kind, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's enough bulls up there that if one comes to water he'll probably be in the 300s yeah sure so. That'll be good. Awesome. Well, Long right, pack up. You guys. I yeah, man. Stock and good job. All right, Scott, I got the camera rolling.
Try not to shine in your face. <laughs> well, we made it to our camp. our back country camp. Truly back country. That word gets used loosely nowadays on Instagram, but this is truly back country. <laughs> back country in the back of the RV. Yeah. <laughs> got a little seek outside shelter in here. I'll be sleeping under. This guy's got a nice tent. All ready to go. Scott's getting everything dialed for the morning. Yes, sir. Mo's ready. Getting ready for some harvest pictures. Yes. Oops, sorry. It's so bright. But uh, it's pretty cool to meet up with that guy tonight and watch him stalk those deer. Almost connected. So, anyways, tomorrow we're going to hunt elk. Nice and early. What time? We're going to wake up at... Uh... 2.45. 2.45. Work our way down there. We'll eat some breakfast, work our way down to the blind. Yep. We'll make it happen. Get her done. Yeah. Cool.